golden amber nectar. Welcome to this week's hot and spicy. Oh, usual thing. Um, I've had a very interesting, different week on YouTube, which I'll come to in a minute. I hope you've had a good week and uh, having a good weekend. Now, I want to do a request before I go into the hot and spicy. Lee Wood, if you're watching, you've asked me a couple of times um, to show my Jack Claw knife close up in one of my vlogs. So, here it is. This is the Jack Claw, well, this is the sheath. There's a knife, it comes in a sheath, belt loop, leather, brass poppers, Jack Law emblem on the back, brass fitting here, half loop. Uh, red stitching, uh, fire steel made of the same wood as the handle of the knife. Absolutely quality is unbelievable. Right, and how it stays in there, I don't know, it's fantastic. Right. Oh, go on, get your nostrils in there. Beautiful smell leather. And that's the knife itself. Uh, a few of you may have seen this before, so maybe skip forward but um, that's the knife Lee and uh, fits lovely in the hand there's the uh, Jack Law logo Scandinavian beveled edge keeps a good edge too and Sandy the doctor as I call him Wiltshire man Jack Law knives he um, sent me a strop as well a leather strop on a piece of wood fair play to him but uh, this here this the scales as they're called or to if you're a normal non knife making person like myself the handle is made of american bird's eye rippled maple beautiful do you know how well you can see that but uh, and it's got um, mosaic pins which are these there's a whole loop there for lint lanyardsmen there's red liners you can see I don't know if you can see they're red but so they are um, it's beautiful it is tapered tang ah, look at that beautiful is it focus in here good weight to it absolutely superb good dinner it is so that's my Jack Law knife. Hope that uh, does it for you. At least, hope it shows. All right. So that's the Jack Law knife. Right. Beautiful. Should do the hot and spicy with it, and I'm showing it first because I don't want to be all greased up and then start showing it. So there you go, mate. Right. How are you other good people? What are we having? Well, the same old thing. <laughs> I love this. Sun blushed, back with a sun blushed, and hot and spicy, extra done. And they don't stick to the pan, there's a crispiness to the edge, and the meat inside is still succulent. That's how I feel you now. So yeah, clean to the bone. I'm an expert now at this. This week's hot sauce, Fiesta Peri Peri Hot. There is a bit of a kick to it. I always put in a little dish. And we have a, in the dish, we have a bit of a dip dip. Not too much. And there we go. Mm. What are you having? Okay. Somebody's whipped a bit. Mm. Unbelievable. If I was outside now watching this, I wouldn't believe it either. It's that good. Right, 
what's this thing you're on about Paul? Unusual week, interesting week. Well, I was contacted um, by a chap on my other channel, Paul H Films, shaving channel. Um, chap called Cody, not sure if you watch this, if you do Cody, thanks very much. Not sure if you watch this channel though, but anyway. Um, sent me a message and said um, check this channel Paul it's got one of your videos on it it's not that funny so I checked it out and that channel actually had 42 of my videos on it all the shaving videos and uh, the channel was only been going six days or something like that and um, they'd uploaded 42 of the videos in six days and it took some doing you know um, so I was going to leave them a message giving them a bit so I thought no I'm not going to I don't talk to low lifes scum so I went direct to YouTube and uh, you know you have to fill it as a copyright claim and all this sort of stuff um, and I just said you know you fill a form in what the video is blah de blah um, but the only trouble is I could only do up to 10 I could only report 10 videos you see it says you've reached your limit so I thought oh, deal. anyway filled the form and said look these are mine I want them taken down I haven't given permission so sent it off. Next day, lovely email off YouTube, fair play. Uh, thanks for the report and bloody blah, blah, blah. Uh, we've taken them down, taken the videos down. So I thought, right, I might have to do another 10 now until I got to the 42, you see. But I can't find the channel. The channel's gone. So I think probably what's happened is YouTube looked at it, could see it had all my videos on it and um, deleted them and deleted the channel so you know they fair dues they don't take any messing fair dues to them so thank you to Cody and thanks to YouTube yeah very good it's good when it works isn't it thieving swines should we say anyway not gonna spoil that <laughs> Mm. one thing I'll say though that's why it's important if you do videos you probably got one already if you haven't get your logo in the bottom of the videos um, so if somebody does re-upload them they'll have your channel name and people get oh, hang on that's not you know so uh, terrible aren't they you know they think I think well I know because it's on the internet oh, it doesn't matter it's not real it matters not real not important is it mm. you know these people went to school for about an hour in 16 years so brain I've seen a bigger brain on a pheasant And then um, they think it's okay. Well, you wouldn't go into a supermarket, do your shopping, and walk out. Don't pay for it. Wouldn't happen, would it? So it's the same here. People own the video. They own. That's what the copyright is. They own it, and, but they can't see it. It's very serious. But uh, <laughs> these, it's different, isn't it? It's a change. It's something different to sort out. Look at the positive side. Came out of it the other end. So that's another tip. Uh, if you follow someone regular on YouTube, if you see someone's videos on a channel you may not have heard of or whatever, just give them a give them a knock, give them a message. I'd be very grateful. You know, people are very grateful. Oh.
Mm. I said it's very lovely. Mm. <laughs> Sunday. Thank goodness for that, as they say. Um, I was going to have pheasant. Um, I guess a brace and a half, which is three pheasants every year off from. Um, Off, you know, one of the people I deliver to, and um, I was going to have one of them, but uh, I thought um, I was in Tesco's in Ruthin after work one day, and a uh, bit of a what's the word? A offer, I say. Me, deal, unlike me to not remember the word offer. <laughs> or sale, or money off um, Welsh lamb bloody expensive normally it's cheaper to buy New Zealand lamb than it is bloody our own <sighs> anyway uh, well sometimes it, it wasn't this week so I bought four lamb leg steaks and that's what I'm having tomorrow with boiled potatoes roast potatoes uh, whole carrots, little baby carrots, whole ones, and uh, it's either going to be because I had collie that last week, so it's either going to be peas or mushy peas. One or the other. Decide, uh, decide in the morning. Um, what else is there? Roast potatoes, yeah. Carrots, peas, or mushies. Um, gravy. And a lot of mint sauce on the lamb. Ooh, beautiful. Ooh. And maybe a few aspels as well to go down. It's got to be done, isn't it? Should we have another dip? Go on then. There we go. Hot sauce is a nice hot sauce. Get that to the book. That's how you cook chicken. Crispy on the outside, succulent meat on the inside, clean to the bone. Eh? Mm. Talk to yourself. Back in a minute. Well, you lot want it hot and spicy every week. This is bound to happen. Dear. Um. Where are we next week? Alright. Uh, this last week with the the gas people here. They come every year to um, service the boiler and by service check everything's working and everything's safe. In America you call it the furnace. Um, he said yeah, he's altered something. I said what is it? He says it's like the carburetor of a car. <laughs> Not that they have them these days. You have just tweaked it so it runs more efficient. Oh. Um, that's one thing, touch wood. Um, the heat in here. Oh it's warm. It gets, it gets too hot, actually. I've seen the red kite. See it quite often actually. Quite um quite a few of them round here. Well not round here but where I work. Um what 
Ross, let's see the oh um bloody oh, give a minute. Oh. It'll come to me in a minute. Bloody terrible things, you know, go in my head. I can see it in my Stoat. What's it? A stoat. Cross the road, that hell. Looked up gone like a what the hell. Uh, I've seen a few, you know, up up uh, in one section. And they're beautiful things to see. <laughs> Little <laughs> amazing power for the size. Stoat and the weasel. Mink. Uh, fox. Buzzards. Red kites. And last week, as I said, what did I say? I can't remember what I did see on the. No, I did say uh, on the farm, just uh, bloody hell, not far, it wasn't far off a thousand starlings. Um, amazing it was. So, um, these are going down well, these. This sauce is nice. Um, your palate, I, I've always said this. The hotter stuff you eat, I think you become immune to it. I don't like it too hot. Mm. Excuse me. Thank you. Beautiful. I'm going to ask you a question. If you're of a certain age, you'll know exactly what I mean. If you're maybe younger, teenage, maybe, you wonder if nobody does that. Um, how many of you? eat your meals by the table because uh, when we were growing up well it wasn't a, you didn't want to you always ate by the table there was no sort of question you didn't want to eat anywhere else it wasn't done somehow but these days uh, you know I've got family young, youngsters and in the family and they all sort of you know, sit there on their knee and watching TV and on their laptops and on their tablets and <laughs> in their bedrooms and all this sort of stuff. But uh, long gone other days of sitting by the table. But I know a lot of families still do it. And uh, I think it's nicer to sit there and have a chat. But you see, like Sunday, I do a Sunday dinner always by the table. Don't eat every meal by the table. Some I come into this room, eat as I'm working on this computer, answering comments or editing or doing something or email or whatever, or watching videos even. I put the things on sometimes. Or I just listen from the computer. Um, that's part of modern life, I expect. But it's a shame in another way, you know, the discipline of sitting by the table and talking to each other. But I know a lot of families still do it, but uh, it's nice, isn't it? You know, even if you just did it once a week, like a Sunday, but I, I'm the only one that eats meat here. And so the meals vary quite a lot. So sometimes I'm cooking a lot for myself, um, which is fine. And, you know, if I'm working or Mrs H is working, she works funny hours sometimes because of her job and... Uh, you, you know, you meet in the as you're passing, to <laughs> but it's all right, yeah. We get through it, like you know, just but it's just interesting how many people eat by the table. I know the older generation probably do, or maybe they don't now. I don't know. That's why you're asking it, yeah. That's why I'm, ask that's why I'm asking it, yeah. 
Right, gone on. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic Sunday. Um, you have another fridge to have you? No, I'm only joking. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video, whenever that may be. Thank you. And goodbye. Lovely.